So Ethereum has a major upgrade coming up to its network and also its layer twos and we're going to go through what it entails very quickly and we're going to summarize it now the main thing part of it that i think is quite bullish is the blobs so basically layer twos like base are going to feel more like ethereum the transaction speeds are going to be lightning fast and it's going to be even more cheaper than it is now so that's the main thing so base should have some sort of run up or some sort of you know push out in terms of meme coins and transactions so the main features of it is the transaction batching so you're not going to be bsc is also doing this upgrade basically after these guys so basically what is happening is you're going to be able to swap tokens or buy tokens or transfer tokens without having to approve so you're going to be able to in one signature just say i want to buy this bang it goes through without having to approve without having to swap afterwards also we're going to be gas sponsorship so that's going to be mainly you're going to be able to pay transaction fees basically if you hold usdt and you want to swap it into USDC, you won't need Ethereum. You can just use USDT as that. And it's basically called gas sponsorship. So you, the use of Ethereum as gas doesn't need to be there. I think most people will be, but that means like in theory, you don't need it as well. They're going to change something around the wallets as well, I believe, and the authorization, stuff like that. I don't particularly, it's not going to apply too much to people that are trading uh, meme coins as well. And I think you're going to be able to set caps. So you can say, I only want to spend one ETH today. <laughs> basically uh, that as well and they're also doing something with um, recovery so there's going to be different types you might need to use your seed phrase you might be able to use other things like authentications uh, multi-signatures as well and but the main thing is validators as well so another thing is the limit on validation to receive rewards you have to have um, 32 if and that's the maximum you can have in your validator so if i'm validating the network and i'm staking i need 32 ETH, and that's the max i can have but it's going to go up to 2048 ETH. this brings the question of this is probably the most bearish part of it because somebody with a lot of ETH can stack up ETH a lot in multiple places of course they can do that anyway they can just put 32 in loads of different places but this is going to make it so that a whales can stake a lot of eth now why are they doing this probably for the upcoming etf changes to actual um basically implement staking into the etfs and that's kind of what they want long term because people institutional investors they want a yield Right now, crypto doesn't have a yield. You can only get capital gains. But that's the main thing I think is going to come up with that. So keep an eye on that. See how that sort of plays out. I'm a bit 50-50 on that uh, because I think it's too much of a jump. I think if they'd done it to 100 or maybe 50, it would have been okay. But it could be too much of a jump. So we'll see how that plays out. I'm sure they got a plan and thought about it. I thought, I'm sure they haven't just gone in with it. So the blob scaling is basically um, how the data is stored on ethereum's blockchain and it's going to be spread out and they're going to use basically bits blobs on the side to actually hold the data which means that layer twos are going to be 10 times or 100 times faster i think max transactions are going to be or transactions per second could go up to like a hundred thousand or something ridiculous or something like fifty thousand. and basically it's going to be slightly faster or just under uh, I think it's going to be faster than Solana, basically, or the ability to be faster than Solana. So it's going to feel cheaper. It's going to feel way faster. The only thing is, if people are using MetaMask, MetaMask is a slow wallet, so it won't feel as fast. But keep an eye on base, Arbitrum for trading. All those things are going to start to come in. So uh, BSC have copied what Ethereum are doing with this upgrade. And specifically, the test nets have gone live. So one went live today. So... Uh, I can't pronounce these names, Holski or Sabalala, whatever it's called. This went live. It will be quite a slow um, upgrade in terms of bringing it main net, I think. I think they're very worried uh, in terms. I'll link this article. It's on the, it's in the Ethereum Foundation's main website. But I hope I've summarized it and you've got an idea of what major changes are coming up to Ethereum. Let me know what you think in the comments. All